Hello and welcome to Nancy Drew, Danger on Deception Island, where um, I think I'm going to try and talk to Katie again before trying to call this um, wood researcher person. What's up? Oh. See you in a bit. Have fun. I guess we'll try and call them now. You have reached the desk of Dr. Ugh. Irina Predovicu. I'm away from my desk, but we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Still not able to consult her on that. Well, let's go see if we can go kayaking now that we have the GPS device. Oops. Yeah, okay. Um, so we're here now. And, uh, we'll just, um, if, if we get lost, we'll just come back to this flag here. Um, could this stuff here have been coordinates? 42.517 Let's check our device again 517 We're now at 463 465 and there's there's rocks ahead though to go that way a bit. Five one seven. This is it. Okay, okay. Um now what? We're here at forty two point five one seven. Now what do we do? Can we, like, go diving or something? Um... I don't have a complete set of coordinates to enter yet. Oh? Oh, you mean this? Right, 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 right. Um... Well, I mean, now that I know that we can go to that place... I mean, do we go, like, this way now from here? Are we still at... No, we're at 497. There's the rock. Right, so as soon as we reach this one, we need to turn this way. And, uh... Then that'll be like that.
Yeah. Danger beyond this point. Okay. There's the lighthouse. So we, we need to go back. Is it this way? Yes. And there's that rock. So if we turn this way, we should be able to get back to Katie's boat, right? Yeah. Okay. So that didn't really accomplish much. But um, we did find the uh, 42.517 place. I just, um, didn't find anything. Hmm. Not right now. Okay. Can't make a call right now. Um, I guess let's go back to the boat and try calling about the wood sample again. Oh, do we have to go back to, like, um, in order to get her to answer, do we need to go back here and call from, like, this spot? This is Irina. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Could you try to identify that wood sample for me again? Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? Brownish. Brown brown or brown reddish? Brown reddish. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? Many. And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? Um, I think they were all the same size, right? They're all the same size. Okay, and the holes are really, really tiny, right? No, they're pretty sizable. Then you've got a tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was a North American wood. All right, are there any distinguishable horizontal lines on the sample? There were, weren't there? Yes, there are horizontal lines. If this wood is used for creating, then it's probably Luan. It's fairly common in plywood, but it's a rainforest timber, so it's declining in popularity. Luan, all right. Thanks for your help. Glad to have been of service. Okay, so we just needed to get to the correct spot, which is right here, obviously, where the microscope and the wood is. So Luan, okay, let's go tell Kate. Katie. What's up? Or not. See you in a bit. Have oh, fun. Oh, we needed to call that, um... That, um... Library person. Casey. That's right. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before, about the driftwood. Never heard of you. Now, if you'd have said Nancy Drew... Yes, that's me, Nancy Drew, Katie Firestone's friend. So what kind of wood are we talking about here, Nancy? Luan. Well, if that driftwood did come from a cargo container that's part of a shipwreck, there's a good chance I can figure out which one. Call me back in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? 
Ever since the hobo spider got into the U.S. by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe, the feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real careful records. Of course, I'll be taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to Snake Horse Harbor. I'll be taking all those factors into consideration, too. I really appreciate your doing this for me, Casey. And well, you should. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, what next? Um... What next? Do we... We haven't visited... The, um... What's his name? The whale world person in a while. So, let's go see if we have anything new to talk about with him. Hi, Nancy. Oh. Thanks for your time. Whales rule! <laughs> um... So... Maybe I should have uh, looked around a bit more when I was kayaking. I was just concerned with um, reaching the coordinates. Aha. Uh -huh. W123. Okay. So now we have both, right? I don't have a complete set of coordinates to enter yet. So W123. And then this needed to be the, uh, what was it again? The 40... Well, maybe we can find more bottles or something. If we look around a little more... here again. And then that's the thing that says danger beyond this point, right? Yep. Ooh, fishes or something. We're back at the boat. Maybe we need to look around some more for more of these scrolls. More messages in bottles. OK. 
can we talk to Katie about it? What's up? Nope. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Mm. It would be rude to use my phone now. Okay, fine. Let's go into the cabin here and um see if our friends have any clues for us or anything. Any ideas on what to do next? Party res, Joe speaking. Hey Joe, it's me. Hi Nancy, what's going on? To get around on the water in Katie's kayak, I've been using a GPS. A global positioning system? Cool! If you have the coordinates for a specific place, you just enter them and it shows up on the display screen, right? I think so. I haven't had to do that yet. A GPS would make a great gift, don't you think, Nancy? For, like, say a big brother to give his little brother for, <laughs> like, say his upcoming birthday? That probably depends on the big brother. And on what the little brother has done for him lately. Always a catch. Talk to you later. Call us anytime. Yeah, it's a pretty sure bet we'll be here. Okay, I couldn't even ask um, about any ideas on what to do next. Hello? Hi, Bez. Hey, Nancy, what's going on? Oh. I better get going. Way will be in touch, Bess. Okay, so that's that. Maybe let's go to the cafe. See if there's anything for us to talk about with the people there. I mean, he's not very talkative, but we could try, right? You again? Did you know Hilda Swenson? Sure did. She even crewed for me a couple of times. There she was, this itty bitty lady in her 60s hauling in nets. Did it for the sheer love of adventure. She was quite a gal. Okay. See you around. Yeah, whatever. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? You know, that muffin I had before was really awesome. Say no more. Mmm, that was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. All right, um... It's been fun talking to you. Yeah, hasn't it, though? So, um, nothing here. Let's go back to the lighthouse and... Do some more looking around, maybe? Like, are there any more messages here? Probably not. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well. Interesting. Oh, it was like a shallower indentation back there and a deeper one here. So. I have no idea what that means, but, um, just an observation. And that's just to look at those rocks, there's nothing else. And over here we had the, uh, bottle. But we already got it, and there's nothing else for us to do here. Over here we found the bit of wood. But we can't really do anything else. No. And that's just that. And that's the... that. And then I don't think there was anything for us up here. Right? Like, there's nowhere else. Oh! Ah! This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. Hi, Nancy. Uh, it's Hannah. I, I seem to have gotten beamed by a chunk of lighthouse. Could you please pick me up from the flight tonight? It's airport 323. Oh, and bring a pack of ice couples. I've got a grapefruit on my head the size of a goose egg. Am I making sense? Oh, well, soon you see. <laughs> okay. So, like, um... Don't go there. Whoa! That was close. <laughs> yeah. There didn't seem to be anything for us here. Just this that we couldn't do anything about, right? Um, no, hmm, and these are just to look at, we can't use them for anything. Well, we did get something different to happen, but uh, it wasn't anything useful. Like, um, we can't look at those rocks or anything. 6048. But we can... And now he's not here to tell us to keep away. Hmm. So we can now inspect that. Oh, it, it was just random numbers, wasn't it? 
we need to know the right combination. I wonder where we'll find it. We haven't... It hasn't been on any of these notes or anything. Okay, well, at least we could do that now. And yeah, we can't inspect this uh, falling stone incident thing any, uh, any further or anything. So I guess we may as well get out of here. Unless, do we want to call our friends or something? Talk to them about it. Party res, Joe speaking. Hey Joe, it's me. Hi Nancy, what's going on? When I was investigating the lighthouse, I just barely missed getting brained by a chunk of falling brick. You think it was an accident? Well, the lighthouse is in pretty bad shape. But I can't help but wonder why Holt Scotto has taken such an interest in the place. Maybe he just thinks they're cool. I know I do. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. See you around the compass. Hmm. No chance to ask them for any ideas on what to do next. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, Nancy. Oh. What's going on? I better get going. Bess, you smell something burning. Shoot! Bye, Nancy! Okay, and the ship guy says that he'll call us, or said that he'll call us back. So we gotta wait for that to happen. There isn't anything new here now. That, uh, that whole falling, um... Thing incident has happened, right? At least I don't see anything new here. Hmm. Talk to Katie. Maybe. What's up? Nope. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Um. Talk to the people in the cafe. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. You again? See you around. Yeah, whatever. Okay, then. Well, um... I'm a bit out of ideas here on what to do next. So, I think I'll maybe take a look at the walkthrough to see how to move things forward from here. So, um, I'll be right back. Okay, so, as usual, when, um, when in doubt, I've probably missed something. So, according to the walkthrough, there should be another message in a bottle that we can just, you know, pick up when we're 
here. Yep. Another message. Totally missed that one. Hmm. And now we should have the coordinates to find a place. So a GPS device. Um, I don't me. have a complete set of coordinates to enter yet. Really? Point eight six one five and forty two point five one seven. So point eight six one five. So this needs to be six one five and this needs to be five one seven. Okay. So we know that we needed to get close to the um, number six thing because there it was five one seven, like right here. It's five one seven. This was six. Um, what was it again? Six one five. So six one five. I don't have a complete set of coordinates to enter yet. Hmm. Six one five. Oh, we can't can't go forward. Yeah, but it's seven eighteen here. They both change. So five seventeen and uh, six fifteen is what we need to have there. This number keeps on getting larger as we go this way. So, does it get smaller as we go this way? No. Seven, eight, three. Seven nine nine, and we need six fifteen. So can't go that way anymore. Seven seven four. It does get smaller as we go this way, though. go this way.
so many rocks. And now we can't turn. Eight eighty nine suddenly. walk through again on how to get to the place that we need to get to. Ah, okay. So it isn't actually using the coordinates that we go to that place. We need to get to the floating buoy number 12. there to the danger. Well, this is the danger sign. So, from the danger sign, uh, left and then forward to a cave on the cliff side. So, left. Need to actually go into in that direction. And then forward to a cave. Uh, forward isn't that way apparently though, because I can't. I can't see any cave on the cliff side. we're back at the boat. Hmm. So, um, forward two times. One, two, and, uh, turn around. Forward one time, then right, forward two times, no, forward four times, one, two, three, four, and now we're at the, at the number 12, yeah, so turn left, Forward two times. One. Two. So I guess now we approached the marker from like a different direction, right? So now we follow these instructions. So to danger marker, then a left and forward to a cave. All right, okay, so cool. Enter the cave, take the left fork, and there you find the final floating bottle. I kind of want to investigate both though, but uh, yeah. Let's, I guess, get the final bottle first. But I do kind of want to investigate both box. Maybe the messages are coordinates. Yeah, I... I had kind of figured that out already. So, 
North 48. No signal. Well, yeah, we are in a cave, so that could be why. There doesn't seem to be anything else in here. So now we're in the right fork, right? I think so. Rocks. And nothing else. So that's a dead end. And then there's a rock here. I wonder if this makes it unsafe. Well, no. Okay, so we can um, use either either one of the um, entrances or, or forks. Good to know. All right, so now we've got signal here. Um, what was it again? Oh, North forty eight. So is that? Oh, I guess they're color-coded, right? So it's 48... Point... 42, 517. So 48, 42, 517. Am I really going to have to remember this? 8, 6, 15... Forty two five one seven eight six fifteen forty eight one two three waypoint Can we now go there? There's a channel marker. Katie said not to go past them. Oh, okay. So are we like getting closer? No. We need to go... Eh. I lost that sea. <laughs> Oops. <gasps> I didn't mean to go past the channel marker. Second chance. So, really? Are we going like this way then? Is the what? Uh, that 
that's the cave. But like... I somehow need to go back. And we're back at the danger marker again. Okay. Uh, now we've gone a bit too far down. So we need to like... Go up a bit. So, this way? Ah, is it the way we weren't allowed to go before? Yes, it totally is. We couldn't go straight from here before, but now, suddenly, that we have placed the marker, we can. Alright. I gotcha, game. I've never been to this beach before. Well, um, I think we are going to continue from here in the next episode. So we'll take a look around the beach, see what we can find, because these are the coordinates left behind by... by... what was her name again? Well, that person anyway. <laughs> uh, so... I'm sure we will find something of importance here. But yeah, we'll look for it, whatever it is, in the next episode. For now, thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today. If you liked this video, please leave it a like. I would really love that. And also, please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you again next time.